Hey there, Kelly. You know, they're trying to hire as many seasonal workers as they can. Hard to do during a labor shortage. We'll get to that in a second. UPS shares also up 8% since September of tw- uh, September the 21st. That's the date of FedEx earnings, where their rival had a report deeply impacted by network inefficiencies caused by a shortage of workers. Analysts say the price action you're seeing right here, it shows investor confidence in CEO Carol Tomei's better, not bigger strategy. Earnings are forecast to increase by 11%, revenues by 6%, but the real metric investors will be watching is the margin on UPS's U.S. business. That has improved in recent quarters, but again, with wages rising and labor shortages, investors are going to be watching very closely to see if UPS can maintain that margin expansion. Small and medium-sized business shipping, that is a higher margin business than big retailers, but that growth for UPS, it actually decelerated slightly last quarter. Winning SMB business has been a real focus for both FedEx and UPS, as well as Walmart, as they launch a shipping business for this holiday season. UPS will also begin charging those big retailers a surcharge for their shipments over pre-pandemic levels starting next week. That's over February 2020 levels. Any commentary on the revenues that could be generated or changes to guidance based on this, that will also be closely watched. Kelly and Tyler, And maybe those surcharges can help next quarter, right? You know, that's the big thing. These surcharges, they start on Monday next week. Um, Last year, they generated a lot of revenue. The question is, have retailers adjusted their strategy so that they don't have to try to push out so much via e-commerce? Are they convincing people to come and pick up in store more or more of a direct-to-consumer strategy remains to be seen. What what are the surcharges? I'm looking at our graphic here, and I can't say I understand them. How expensive are they? Yeah. Well, for packages, uh, 110% over your pre-pandemic volume, you see right there for ground, it's $1.15. For air, it's two fifteen, And then it just continues to get higher and higher as your volume increases again over those February 2020 levels. So, for example, if Nike, let's just say, shipped 100 packages in February 2020, it would be over 100% over that level or 200% over that level.